Uganda Investment Authority has awarded the Covidex Innovator an investment license. Professor Patrick Ogwang of Jenna Harbour Limited has been given five hectares of land in Soroti Industrial Park plus a 10-year tax holiday. The investment license was handed over by the Minister in Charge of Investment, Evelyn Aniti. The investment license was handed over by the Minister in Charge of Investment, Evelyn Anite, who promised unwavering government support. And he made this request to me and that they, that my chairman uh, this morning of five acres. And five acres is what we would give to him and in Sorot Industrial Park. About the legal gymnastics, our president is leading the, 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 the discussions, of course, to arbitrate. As you know, don't forget that Barara University is not private. It is equally government. So our president is keenly involved and is, is interested in this matter. Covidex is a local herbal medicine recommended by the National Drug Authority as a remedy to COVID-19. The drug is made using a combination of herbs containing antiviral properties that have been traditionally used from time immemorial. We want to reverse importation of medicines to this country. For my life, I found that we import about 4 trillion shillings worth of medicine. 4 trillion. That's the money we are giving every year out. Jenna wants to contribute to reducing that by 60%. We want to reduce 60% of 4 trillion should remain in this economy and grow this economy. And I know we are going to do it because we have invested long time, for a long time in doing that and we are going to achieve it. I also want Ugandans to know that there is nothing we lack in this country. According to the board chairman, Uganda Investment Authority, the COVID-19 pandemic has underscored the need for homegrown solutions to such pandemics. As Ugandans, we have to support the pathogenic economy. The president has said that Pfizer, for example, they will only this year earn 15 billion United States dollars. And I can tell you I agree if Professor Ogwang's uh, uh, covid -X, uh, was somewhere else it could have already been approved by World Health Organization. So it is us to support our local innovators, uh, provide the support, and make them scale. We'll look into our system and ensure, of course there's still a lot of work to do, but we have demonstrated that it can happen. Uh, and especially for our local investors, uh, how can we create efficiencies in the licensing system? Not all of our investors can uh, read business plans or write them. But that shouldn't stop you getting a license here. We have a business development team here. Once you come in, our team should support you, prepare that business plan. Our goal is to ensure that you enter uh, the formal sector of manufacturing. Since its approval as a COVID-19 remedy a few weeks ago, the demand for covid has skyrocketed locally and regionally, which has prompted government intervention in scaling up production. After the issuance of the investment license by Uganda Investment Authority, Professor Patrick Ogwang is now expected to scale up the production of Covidex in a factory soon to be constructed at the Soroti Industrial Park. Dennis Igor for UBC News in Kampala. And congratulations to Professor Patrick Ogwang and we do hope that after uh, the factory has been set there is going to be mass production of that uh, um, life-saving uh, covid x vaccine let's continue now and it's good news in as far as the health sector is concerned because the national medical stores has received part of the cold chain consignment trucks that will be used to store and transport vaccines dr rutha cheng flagged off two cold chain vaccine trucks from the ministry of health headquarters here in kampala Ministry of Health is expecting another batch of COVID-19 vaccines into the country to immunize the population against coronavirus disease. National Medical Stores has received two cold chain trucks capable of storing and transporting vaccines across the entire country. Are kept at the same temperature at which they are kept at National Medical Stores and at the same temperature at which we transport them in these cold chain trucks. Because each district in the country has the cold chain capacity. We have freezers for those that require, uh, require to be frozen. We have uh, fridges for those that are, that are supposed to be kept at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. And we maintain those, those equipments. The Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, flagged off the trucks at the Minister of Health headquarters in Kampala. 
The trucks will be deployed in supporting immunization activities and other health-related activities. We encourage the national medical stores to maintain the cars routinely. Seven cold chain trucks are currently available in the country as more three are expected by September 2021. The cost is over half a million dollars and UNICEF is playing the facilitator role for the Gavi here in Uganda and in other countries. These trucks will support the national medical stores to build a resilient fleet that can manage delivery of vaccines. Each truck can carry up to 9,000 liters of vaccines. Sada Mubale, Ivan Kahua, UBC News, Kampala.